So this one is a power chord at C with an amplifier, and it sounds like this. Sounds a bit Summer of 69. Got my first real six string. How do we download and import sounds, loops, samples into GarageBand on our iPhone or iPad? It's actually super simple and it's even easier now that Safari has its built-in download manager. So let's show you how we do it here. Now I'm going to delete out these tracks and we're going to start from scratch because I've been playing around with this track already, but we'll go right back to the beginning here. Now, what the only thing I've done on this track so far, you can see it's completely blank, is that I've gone in here to my metronome, and this is defaults to 110 BPM. I've come in here to the tempo, and I've turned it up to 124. The reason is the audio files that I'm going to show you here that I'm going to download and import are at 124 BPM. So the number one thing is if you're bringing a loop or if you're bringing something in that is at a tempo, when it's an Apple loop, so when you come in here and you use your Apple loops, it's fine because they can beat match to whatever tempo you have. But if you're using an actual file, so if you're coming here and you're grabbing a loop like this, see, see this one's 96 BPM. If this is the one we were going to use and we wanted to bring this in here, take a look, take a listen to what happens here if we play this along with our metronome. doesn't work at all yet because it's not there and this doesn't have the ability we can trim it but it doesn't have the ability to change it so if we go to settings here we can loop it but we can't follow the pitch and tempo different to if we actually used an apple loop in here where we can do that so if instead of that one we actually grab this 60s shuffle drum kit look at what this does this actually beat matches right on the grid yeah and if we change the tempo, this actually changes because here in the settings, we have this option, the follow tempo and pitch setting. And that will help us with those Apple loops. But with our own loops, we don't have it. So I just wanted to explain that concept before we bring in a file into here. Now, the file that I'm going to bring in here, um, I need to jump out of here and go to a video here on, uh, on YouTube. Because a while ago I did a video about how to do your own guitar loops. So here's how to create your own guitar loops in GarageBand. And you can follow this video and create your own loops. Let's tap on this I one, bring it up. 22 interface. There I am. And then the I'm talking about what I'm doing here. But down here in the description of this video, you can actually come in here and you can do this along. If you go to studiolivetoday.com slash loops, you can actually download the loops to these ones. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and hold and copy this. Can I do that? Tap and hold. No, I might just have to enter it. <laughs> um, using the mouse sometimes it's a little bit clunky. I'm just going to jump over to Safari and actually type that in. So if we go to Safari, freesound.org. Join freesound.org and that's got a great number of loops and samples. I've showed that in a previous video, but this one we're going to do something a little different. So again, if you're following along at home, head to studio live, to, whoops, type live today com slash loops. And this should take you to my webpage and it should take you to this little section here. Let's get loopy. Uh, so I've got some example loops there. I've got the video link there. I've already joined it. Sorry, <laughs> I need to fix that. Sometimes you'll get that pop up more than once. I apologize for that. I am trying to fix it at the moment if you go to the website. Uh, but I've got these ones here. So Pete's example guitar loop. So let's click on this link and this will drop us into Dropbox. Now, if you don't have the Dropbox app, that's okay. In fact, in case you don't have the Dropbox app, let's show you this just as a regular way. So we'll close out of that. If you tap and hold, if you don't want to go to the Dropbox app, just tap and hold on this one and open in a new window. And what that, oh, I meant to go, <laughs> I didn't mean to do it in a new window. Yes, I'm almost out of space. Uh, and what we can do here is we can actually tap here and we can just download, tap on download. And this is going to direct download this here. Yes, I would like to download. This is going to direct download this up the top here to my downloads folder. To go to it, I just tap on it. It opens up the downloads folder. And where are we? There we are. There's my zipped up file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a folder in here. Now you can, you can put this anywhere, but I'll just create a loops folder here in my downloads folder just for convenience. I'm gonna drag this zip file over to my loops folder. And then in here, I'm gonna tap it and it'll expand out. And there is my folder of loops. So right here in my downloads under this loops, we've got all of these different guitar loops. So you can, again, you can do all of these yourself as well. And if we jump in here, we can actually take a look and a listen. So this one is a power chord at C with an amplifier. And it sounds like this. 
Sounds a bit summer of 69. Got my first real six string. Um, so we actually want that, but we want it without the, so where's this power chord C? We want it without the amp. So there it is, clean. So the clean version of that sounds like this. And we want it clean for reasons I'm gonna show you in a moment. So we've got those all there. Now, how do we get these into our GarageBand project? Well, it's actually super simple. If we come back to GarageBand and we tap on this loops icon in the top right corner that we were playing with before, we can go to files, and these are all the files I've already imported in here. And yes, Pete is terrible. He needs to clean up his imported files because I use this iPad to demonstrate and you can see I've got a whole bunch of different files in here. But if I want to add new files, I tap on this one. I browse from the files app. And then all I need to do is navigate here to the place. And I know that it's in this downloads folder. I've created this loops folder to make sure that it's all in the same place. Go into here and here's all those guitar loops. So where was our, see our power chord? The only problem is how to view them. Can we do this? We'll do them as a list. That's better. So don't forget, you can change. If you've got your icons there and you can't read your file names, you can tap that and change it to a list view. So we want a C chord and a clean C chord power chord here. So we're going to tap on this one. And that'll actually load it on in. And there we go. It'll pop in there. Now we just need to find it. Here it is. PJ Loop Power Chord C Clean. We tap it. We drag it. We plonk it in a fresh track. And now take a listen. We've got a nice C chord right there on the beat. Pretty cool, yeah? Now we can actually start adding some more things in here. So if we, we'll just delete that drum for now. Let's just add in, say, a drummer. To, to complement this, so we'll go to drummer and we'll go Darcy, sure, why not? Pretty good, just make her a bit louder, a bit more complex. Cool, yeah, and we know it's on, we know that it is in C, so we can add a bass guitar now. So let's come in here and grab our virtual bass and put that one on there and let's use some autoplay, shall we? Yeah, that'll work for some autoplay. We hit record, we're on the C chord. And of course, we only really needed to do two of those because we can loop it, but we've done four bars worth. So four bars there, we can loop that out. And there you go, you can start building that out. And you can do this with any sort of loop, drum loops, guitar loops, bass loops, any sort of samples that you want. The key things to remember are, that you want to make sure it's a compatible file. So any WAV or MP3 or M4A or AIF file, it's got to be 24 bit or less. If it's not, you can use something like Audio Share. So if you come over here, if you've got a, a sample that's 32 bit, bring it into Audio Share and you can actually come in here and convert it. So you can convert it down here to make sure that it is a 44, so 44 kilobit. If we go to WAV file here, see here it's got 32, 24, 16. You can actually convert it to 24. So if you've got a, a loop or a sample that won't work, that is the workaround for that. And then you can just start layering things up on here and keep in mind that we need to make sure the tempo matches the imported sound because as we showed before, if we go to settings, we can't actually change that at all. If you do want to change it, there is a way, there is another app. If we come out here and we type this one, it's called Audio Stretch. So we can actually bring loops into audio stretch here and actually change the tempo, change the speed, change the pitch of those loops as well. But that is a paid app. That's about a seven or eight dollar app if you want to be able to do that. But if you want to bring it in and leave it at the same tempo, there it is. Now, last but not least, like, yeah, we don't want this to be clean, yeah? We want it to be on a guitar amp. So all we need to do for that is add in, let's just grab an amp simulator. So we'll come in here, we'll go to our amp, more sounds. Say we wanted distortion. What's one of the distortions that I like? I like the uh, power chord. Well, it is a power chord, so let's go power chord. So there's our power chord with our drive and our compressor on there. All we need to do is grab this audio, chuck it on here, and now take a listen. We'll turn it down because it'll be a bit louder. Take a listen. Very cool, yeah. Rock and roll, right? So that is as simple as that if you want to bring in your own loops. So you can check out that video, create your own loops, create your own guitar loops, your own drum loops, export them, and then save them for future projects. It's a lot of fun, and it's super simple to do here in GarageBand. Hope you found that one useful if you haven't done it before.